I have the Redmi Note 12 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install version 8.7 of the Google Camera application on all devices running Android 11 and higher. Many people would agree that Google Pixel devices can take some of the best, if not the best, photographs on Android. This is mainly because of the algorithms used within the Google Camera application while it is processing the newly captured image. We generally see this referred to as computational photography, and it combines hardware, software, and machine learning in an attempt to create the best results. All of this has been packaged into the Google Camera application but sadly, if we search the Google Play Store for this app on a non-Pixel smartphone, then we won't be able to install it. And this is where Google Camera Ports come into play, or Gcam for short. As long as you're running Android 11 or higher, and your device supports the Camera 2 API, then you can take advantage of these algorithms to make your photos look better than your stock camera app. This is extremely useful on low-end and mid-range devices, but it is also popular among people who have installed a custom ROM on their smartphone or tablet. Back in November, I released a video highlighting the new features of Google Camera version 8.7, and now you can get that version installed on your non-Pixel smartphone or tablet. First, you need to download the APK file for this app. I'll be linking to a download page in the video description below for the same version that I'll be using here. This was released from the Gcam modder BSG, who is one of the most popular developers within the Gcam community. Once downloaded, we're going to tap the APK file to open it up within your file manager of choice. If you haven't installed an application in this way before, then you'll likely see a prompt appear like this, asking you to grant access for it to install apps from an unknown source. Xiaomi's MIUI even has this danger page so that you're just aware that installing apps from an unknown source can be dangerous. This is normal, and it's just how apps are installed outside of the Google Play Store. After we have installed the G camera port, we're going to look for that new application icon within the app drawer. You can see it has been installed right there. And we can go ahead and open up the application, grant the permissions that it wants, and then test it to see if it is working correctly on your smartphone or tablet. These Google Camera ports are set up to allow all devices to at least try to use the included features. But as you can see from the config file page, for the BSG release of Google Camera Port version 8.7, different phones use different settings, and this could result in the app crashing when you try to use a feature that is not compatible with your device. I'll include the link for this page down below as well, but some devices won't need to load any config files for the app to work correctly. However, if you notice that multiple features are crashing or simply not working properly, then I would go through these config files one by one and see if any of them help. We can load a config file by diving into the settings area of the Google camera port, scrolling down a little bit so that you can find the configs menu and then tapping the load option right here to load the XML file that has been downloaded from that page. But again, in some cases, 
You won't even need to load a config file through here as the application is more than able to take photos for you. I encourage you to do a side-by-side -side photo comparison of this Gcam port to the stock camera application on your device. In my experience, it's quite rare for me to find the stock camera performing better than the latest Google camera port. And if you are able to try this out, let me know your thoughts about the performance and the quality of the images in the comments section below.